The Bible says, do not forsake the assembling of the brethren. So I'm so glad you tuned in. As the service progresses, listen with rapt attention because the powerful word is coming your way. We also want to let you know that we appreciate all your engagement in our live stream. Don't stop commenting and share the link to bless someone. Have a wonderful experience.
see you. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power. to Jesus. Give the Lord a shout. And you want to lift up your hands with me to the heavens and close your eyes wherever you are and beginning to speak in tongues right where you are. Sing it to Jesus. Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Where can I find you? Where can I find you? Lord, I know you must be right.
Jesus, tell him. I want to love you. I want to see to heaven this morning. To see to heaven. Oh. Where you dwell. To feel how we are. Oh, profess your love to him across every river. Across every river. Lord, I'm climbing every mountain. I'm climbing every mountain. Just to be, just to be, just, just to be. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. you with our worship. Oh, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I need you. Come on, cry out to him. Jesus, I feel to Jesus. Jesus Tell him, Lord, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus.
Lord fill you with his goodness and knowledge of his ways as we spend time in his presence today in the mighty name of Jesus. On that note, I want to welcome you to the Shine Service. It's a beautiful, bright Sunday morning. I like your shout. With the same excitement, turn to the person on your left and right and tell the person, I am happy to be with you here. Tell the person, your face is shining already. Your life is shining already. You are going to get better and better. Oh, put your hands together for the Lord. And you may be seated and you are sitting on the neck of your strongest opposition. In Jesus' name. How many of us have heard it said that to err is human? And when you're a human being, mistakes are a regular thing in your life. I mean, you cannot be a human being if you don't make mistakes. If you want to know whether someone is human or not, ask the person, have you made any mistake? Yes, means he's a human being. But sometimes your mistakes can follow you throughout your life. Some mistakes even go ahead of you and destroy things in your life. But thank God that we are in the presence of God today. Because the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 that if we love God, he's able to put together all our mistakes, all the wrong things, the errors, the good things and make it turn out well for you. I thought you put your hands together for the Lord again. Because there's somebody listening to my voice this morning. You are feeling so sad. You are thinking that it's over with you. I came to tell you it's not over. God has just gotten started with you. This morning, a brother is coming up stage to share what God has done in his life. Ladies and gentlemen, help me to welcome to the stage... Pastor Prince. Thank you very much, Rev. Let's put our hands together for Rev. Psalm 11946. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings, and I will not be ashamed. Hallelujah. We have a brother here who is not ashamed to share his testimony. And I want us to put our hands together for justice as he comes. I have to share his testimony as well. Sis, how are you? Please, I'm very okay, fine. Okay, okay. Who, By the grace of God. Can you tell us who you are in the church? Well, my name is Justice Mensa, a constituency of Asia in Brigade region. I'm the Carries diocese. I think I'm here. Okay. All right. So you are a consistency of us here, which is short. In short, we say a CEO. So if you hear a CEO, a CEO is a constituency of us here. It means that he oversees many bus centers. Yes, please. Beautiful. All right. And you have a beautiful testimony to share with us. God has blessed me with a very, very wow. beautiful testimony. And you, you told me that this happened during the operation, don't think about it. Yes. Church, there are many testimonies coming from operation, don't think about it. Amen. And you'll be the next person in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are ready to hear from you. So during the operation, don't think about it. In fact, what Bishop let us understand about operation, don't think about it, was very mind-blowing. You know, all our human needs, everybody have Difficulty in a certain angle, different, different angle, but different bishop led us to understand why we shouldn't think about it. So, in this season, bishop led us in prayer, two weeks intensive prayer, and two weeks intensive dawn outreaches, outreaches, and evening outreaches. Yes, yeah, so what happened? What happened? So, during, during this time, there is this bus center that's in my constituency. Usually bring about five, four, six. 
So, in this season, I stumbled on a message preached by Prophet Dr. Old Mills. Church growth and burning desire. So, Church, if you remember, this message was shared a week after when he listened on our pages by Bishop Ogo. Yes. So, if you listened, you should have received a testimony. He so, listened and he had a testimony. So, in this message, there was a testimony time. And after listening to the message and the testimony, I believe God strongly that by concentrating on this placenta and making sure that I pass to the swelling Sunday, God will give me a testimony. So out of that testimony, I received my testimony. Yes, and I remember the testimony was about tithe, right? That yes. That person was believing God that if he would pass a certain number of people, he yes. was believing God that his tithe would also increase. Yes. Beautiful. So, right. so what, happened? what happened? In my company, I'll be believing God for a promotion for about months. Very long one. So during the operation, don't think about it. This placenta brought on the Sully Sunday 35 members to church. Wow, put your hands together for God. So you passed more than five of your usual yes. numbers to yes. church. Yes. To come and hear the word of God. Yes. Wow. Please. So after the swelling Sunday, about some weeks, my wife and I decided to pray for the people we brought to church. You will pray with your wife. You will pray with your husband. <laughs> In Jesus' name. So, Amen. Af as we are praying, then I remember the covenants I had in the message. So we pray for the covenant. Little did I know, when I get to work that very morning, sitting on my desk, I just receive an insight that I should print my proposal. I mean, I've, if I've sent it to my boss severally. So I just print it and then go to his office. Usually, you, mu you must be invited to come. And then you, when you go, you have to wait for some because he's not a small person. So <laughs> that very day when I get there that morning, it's like a protocol. I just ran through. And within two minutes, I met him. When, we, when I met him. Within two minutes. Within two minutes. Within two minutes. Within two wow. minutes. Usually, it would take like 45, one hour, sometimes even two hours and, before you meet him. And what did he say? Oh, when he met me, he just asked me, how are you? It's been a while. How, how is your family? So I told him that, oh, I have sent him, I've emailed him a proposal, but he has not returned my uh, my proposal, or he has not replied my proposal. So, so what is it about? So I saw, he said he wanted to go through his phone to check. And I said, no, I printed it out. It's here. I gave it to him. And what, what like happened? magic. What happened? Usually, there should be bargaining. But this one, just signing and signing, signing. They wow. sign everything. Wow. Are you sitting down? This is something that you should be standing up. That your boss will not bargain with you. When it comes to your promotion, he will just sign it and give it to you. So, what is, what is your advice to, to everyone here? So, you know, in the message, you, you hear something like, when you come to this church, it's passing, please. Don't come to the church with any idea. It's passing. So, so just to, to make it, yeah, it's, so it's not just bass. It's bringing people to church. Bringing the people to church. And raising people in the word of God. Retaining them yeah. in the church. Beautiful. That is the work. And the passing. So you're then encouraging everyone. God will also give you your heart desire. So as you take care of people, God will bless you. Yes. Let's put our hands together for justice. Beautiful. Beautiful testimony. So if you have... If you have your testimony, you can send it to this WhatsApp number or you see your original head, your Bacenta leader, and you will come on stage. If, if you are like me who don't want to come on stage, we'll meet somewhere and we'll do something else. <laughs> Thank you. Let's put our hands together for Reverend Akins. Keep clapping, keep clapping. You are clapping for your testimony. Everything you have put before God, God is going to do it for you in a grand style. In Jesus' name. 
So let's rehearse the clapping. Imagine, yes. You see, in Christianity, we walk by faith, not by sight. So when you, I promise you that I will buy a phone for you, don't start clapping. Yeah, because I'm a human being. Seeing is believing. If you haven't received a phone, don't, don't clap for me. But when God says he will give you a phone, you begin to clap. Because it is as good as having received it. That's why I'm so sure that by this clap, you have received whatever you want from God. In Jesus' name. On that note, I want you to take out a very hefty offering. An offering that will shame your enemies. Because somebody, your enemies have said that you can never give beyond five cities. But you are taking this step of faith into the future. And you are saying that in the days to come, I'll be giving 50 Ghana cities. So I'm taking it out now. Oh, your amen was not strong, bro. Yeah, so take out 2,000 Ghana cities, 1,000 Ghana cities. We are in the presence of God. God has been so good to you and I. And the least we can do is to offer a sacrifice. So wherever you are, lift up that sacrifice in your right hand. If it is on the Momo phone, lift up your Momo phone. And I just sense that God is going to do a short work in someone's life. Yes, what should have taken a year, expect to see it in one month. Just by faith. Take that offering God is touching your heart to take. Not the one you have now. God is telling you that change it. Obey that voice. And you can expect a miracle. And now you want to pray over that offering wherever you are, give it a mission. Never give an offering aimlessly. Give it a mission. And may the God who hears all prayers, may he hear that prayer of your heart and bring it to pass in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. So the numbers are on the screen if you are paying by Momo. If you are paying by cash, we are all coming to the front. You drop the money in the offering bag or wave the Momo phone or touch the offering bag with it. But please, if you press send and it doesn't go, don't stop. Keep pressing. Shall we start? Beginning from the front. God bless you. May the Lord God who told Abraham that I'll bless you so that you be a blessing. That same voice is speaking over your lives now. You'll be so blessed that you'll be a blessing. I speak over your lives that whatever is battling with you, may you see an end to that season of war in the name of Jesus. Any enemy that is too strong for you, by the stretching of that arm to drop that money in the bag, may God release an angel to fight on your behalf. I receive the protection of the Most High God. May He cover you. Your going out, your coming in, may it be covered in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Put your hands together for the Lord this morning. Keep clapping, keep clapping. As the airport starts, are making their exits. Oh, don't let the clap die down. There is something special coming your way. Continue clapping. Put your hands together as we receive upstage the film stars.
Take your time, she's gone. You're not a pastor, take your time. I'm a doctor. No. She's gone. No. You can't do anything, she's gone. No. She's gone. Take, 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 take. She's gone. No. Let her rest. She's, no. gone. she's gone. Wait. Take your time. What do you she's mean? Gone. She can't be gone. Sister. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? No, I'm not, but she can't be. Quiet. It Let can't be. Quiet. She's gone. You have to go outside. She's gone. Please go. No. No. This can't be. This is not true. How can this be? 1 a.m. You are dead. Hmm? How? I'm watching some more. It's looking so glorious today. Wow. Wow, I can't even see. Uh-huh. Now that I can see. Wow, everything is on set. <sighs> Please, tune the station to Makane TV, Heaven Life. Go quick. Let me call Apostle Peter. Hello, Apostle. Uh huh. Greetings from the high heavens. Greetings to you. You are calling the rock. Uh, yes, I know. Yes. Please, everybody is set. Okay. And the arrivals will be here very soon, so oh, we are waiting for you. I'm almost there. Hey, it's the same. Yeah, yeah, won't swear. Hey, who we'll catch you, heaven star? Nankaming Kadian. Me, the name and did the NT. Me, catch you. I'm here. Stop calling. Cut oh. the call. Oh, okay. Hey. Uh huh. You are welcome. Yes, angels. Yes. yes. How are you all? <sighs> yes, Please, you are welcome. Angels. Yes, yes, yes. Please, so, the arrivals will be here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please, give me the, give me the iPad. Yes. Now we are into tech. So we are not doing papers anymore. Okay. Uh -huh. um, so four people are dead. Okay. I learned they are from that small country called Ghana. I see. What yeah, people? when I went through the list, um, one of them is coming from uh, 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 the Fancy Land. Uh, and another one is having some long name. A uh, long name. Yeah. Uh, he's likely to be an Ewe. Ewe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if an Ewe is like that, you know. <laughs> Ghanaian Sankas, I don't and know why they like that. Two name. ladies are also part. Yes. But the last one, the name, I can't really see it. Some glitches on the name. Uh, it's Blair. Yeah, it's Blair. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, so. Uh, I don't know whether the angels didn't take notice. Which of you touched the list? Hey. I've told you, Apostle. Apostle Paul, I don't like the way you approach your duty sometimes. You see, my heart comes quickly. Please. Don't remind me of what I did on earth. Please calm down. You are In heaven, we don't get angry, so let me relax. Anyway. Uh -huh. So, as I was saying, let's, let's scrutinize the list very well. Yes, I'm because what's happening? I swear are we, guys? Randy. Hey. Uh, what happened? Like I was in the car. But I was driving. Didn't I tell you to stop speeding? We were in a hurry. So what, 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 should, what should I do? I, I, I think we are the right place. See, there is gold all over. Gold. Hey. 
No, no, no. I, I think that's our destination. Wait, 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 let me pay some gold and let, let me sort myself out. You want to do what? Hey, 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 hey. 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 Approach. Massa. I have now beg Galam say. Are you serious? Please. Do you think this is your country where you, you and the Chinese people connive to do Galam say? Ube, steady. You are in heaven. Heaven. Oh, I'm going hey. to. Hey, hey, hey. Go back. Go back. Where, 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 where are you going to? Respect yourself here. Apostle, yes. they should come this side. This Move. Place. Let them proceed. I Follow me. Come. Yes. Uh, oh. I thought you were coming to do Galam say in heaven. <laughs> Am I the right place? Yes, you are. Anyway, uh huh. Hey, come, come forward. On. Come, 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 stand here. Uh -huh. So, your name and where you're coming from? Uh -huh. My name? Yes. Uh, Randy Disrodo. Hey. Your real name, the name that your parents gave birth to you, you are saying, what, 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 what? Listen, listen. We are not joking here. What is the name your mother and your father gave to you on the day you were born? The one you had before you swore the affidavit. Ni papo. Ah, he's a ni papo for you. Ah, ni papo, papo for you. Yeah, it sounds like papo shito. <laughs> anyway, you are welcome. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh -huh. you are in heaven once again. So over here, you are saved by the grace and you are here. Now we want to see your works. Works? Exactly. You want to see works? Oh, oh, oh. I came with a bag. Oh, works. I have a lot of works. Please, which one do you want? Is it the one that I own personally? Mr. Man, respect yourself. Please, hurry up with the works. We have a lot of people to scrutinize. Now you can see the queue behind you. See, this is my university qualification. Wait, wait, wait. Let me take you through. I have, this is UPSC, University of Professional Studies, America. This is not the one here, Ghana. I have master's degree, uh, degree uh, saying, bachelor's degree, like any degree that you want. I have. I'm now doing my PhD currently in Harvard. I'm a little small boy. You okay. can even open the certificate. You can see my Mr. national Man. service certificate inside Keep it. Quiet. I have a lot of works. Okay. So I've gone to school. Like I'm now in a medical school, study for seven uh, years. Please add this to the bola. Who? Oh! Uh -huh. Stand here with it. Don't worry. Put it. Hold it. Uh -huh. Next. My medical qualifications and everything in bola. Ah, my brother. How long did you go to the medical school? Oh, then it's not enough. You see. Wow. I have keys. Cars. Is that, is that Bentley? Oh, of course. Bentley. You know it already. Wow. <laughs> you have Bentley in heaven. Oh. Add it to the baller. Which one is that? Nice. Oh, Ferrari. They are like Ferrari. Of course, this one. It's, it's, it's very expensive. Wow. It, it can Beautiful. Take me to heaven. <laughs> you need Ferrari in heaven. Oh. It, it, seems, it seems he's not aware of where he is. I don't you see, so. here is heaven. We don't drive cars with ties and wheels. <laughs> We ride on chariots. We are into chariots. Wait. When we ride, there's fire behind ah. the chariot. That's the powering motion. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, be careful. Do you have any other work to show us? Of course. Last one. Let me show you. Maybe these studies are not enough. I'm not a small boy. Look at how I'm dressed. I'm a small boy. This came to me. My friend, day. you are talking too much. Carry on. See, my phone. I have the uh, personal number of... Wait, 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 wait. Not even personal, the private number of the presence of Ghana. The next time you tell me wait again, eh, you go to hell. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Please take it. The private number of the presence of Ghana. I even talked to uh, if anything, no. Joe Biden. He calls me Apostle. to see for advice. It's not even plus one, no. It's plus two, three, three. <laughs> it's not plus one. You think we are Your here former to president, Atta Mills, Bola. JJ, they're inside the conference room. If you go, go and take selfie. Who? Oh. Massa. Is that all you have to show us? But I've, I've given you enough. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe this one is not. I have real estate. Mm. Uh, Ashoma. I have real estate at Trasaku. I have a lot of houses. I've built uh, uh, mansions. If you like, I, I can take you there. You, you know it already. You can see it on your records. I'm very worthy. Don't worry. When I went through your, uh, um, your works, I saw that you have some houses in some prime areas. But I saw but, Bowie. Where prime? Bowie is a prime area. Such a disgrace. My brother, my please friend, give him his verdict. Please. You are entitled to only a single room without roof. Mm. Oh. There's no toilet. Mm. Oh. Yes. The works you did on earth, that is what it qualifies you for. Oh. Move him to the place. Please, I'm going hey, for hey, hey. a mansion. Move. A mansion. Oh, no. A mansion for my... 
Mr. Man, please, I'm here. You are welcome to Heaven's Gate. Thank please, you. come closer. Don't be scared. Don't be Where scared. Where are you looking back? Hey! Come. Please, speak. In fact, I'm very, very happy about the way you are doing your work. Wow. The way you treated my brother. Mm. But you see, one thing that got me confused. Why didn't you even put all his houses together so that you make it one house for him over there? And hey. you are giving him a house without a roof. In heaven, all those things don't matter. Your works, the souls that you have converted to Christ, that is what matters. Wow. He has nothing to show about, apart from the fact that he was born again. In fact, that is the reason why he's even standing at the gate of heaven. <laughs> he is too proud. The you way you have treated, he deserves it. I see. Yes. As for me, Hmm. You think selling out someone over here will work in? So, so wait. Scare me the serenade. Come what here. What is your name? You, you, you yourself. My name. Yes. Back in school. Uh -huh. They call me humility because I'm very humble. Very humble. Yes. And I don't even talk much. You don't talk you much? You don't? Hey. The one you've spoken already is too much. <laughs> um. Anyway, your name, your real name. Oh. You're not joking here. Sorry. Maunyo. Maunyo Tamaglo. Hey, that's not the full name on the list. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. List. Maunyo G Tamaklo. Go into the G. Wait, there's G? Yes. Go into it well. Maunyo Baragbala Baragba Puani Tamaklo. Now you are talking. He is the guy. Ah. He is the guy we are looking for. <laughs> the guy who, who had the lower one. No? Yeah. <laughs> you graduated University of Ghana with which first, class? First, first, I went to Nidros. Ah. ah. New Drobo. He's the one who went to New Drobo. <laughs> Hey, then then you, I went to the University of Ghana. And hey, you graduated with what? Lower. Lower. He's the one. Yeah, he's the one. <laughs> that day when he was graduating, that's why we were singing that song. Lower, lower. Lower, 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 lower. Lower, lower. <laughs> Satan anyway, is the lower. lowest. Hey. Lower. Anyway, he needs his bed. Uh, my brother, you are only qualified to approach the heaven's gate. Your work. It's not significant. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because I know, I know. You know, just the Good Friday, I gave my life to Christ. Ah, that is the reason why. why in you fact, are the only thing in my pocket right now is some leftover weed green. Hey! How far away? You are lucky the blood of Jesus has washed away all those foolishness. Take it for him. Listen, wait. You are entitled to nothing but a kiosk. Listen. What? At the outermost darkness. The guy that, that is where you sleep. The kiosk doesn't have a roof because there's no work to show. Mercy. Please, can you kindly escort him to his oh. abode? Move. Move, no, please. Move, move it. Why, why is she standing there? Can Approach. We? Walk speedily. We're in a hurry. Take Hey, your name and where you're coming from? Madam. We are waiting from? for you to What's speak. What's your name? We can hear you. Speak. My name is Lucy. It's written in the book. Ah, uh, Akosia. Akosia was Jerome. Hey, Akosia ah. Jerome. Anyway, okay. your ex. She's the one. What is this? BC. Fefedede. Ah, your BC, have you didn't do well. Come on, BC. Fefedede. <laughs> fefe, fefe, fefe. Hey, do you think... Hey. You think you're in Ghana here? You want to litter heaven? You're not saying, bring it. You are littering in heaven. Ah. You've brought your Ghanaian attitude to heaven. Obey steady. Hey, let's see what is on. Uh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey! You are throwing your works away. Your real works. Apostle Peter. Souls. Apostle Peter. Am I seeing what I'm seeing? Souls! Souls! She's the one. This girl deserves an acknowledgement. Wow. Moses Okay. You remember that? Yeah, guy? that guy. Yes. He was a weed smoker, a drunkard, a womanizer, a fornicator. Hey. Every bad thing in this world, in that world, he does it. Mm -hmm. eh? And you warn him and you made him a shepherd. Hey. Oh. Wow. wow. Well done. I wish I can sing for you, but my voice is not good. I just, and, and, I just remembered. Yes. This girl, she's the one that attends that church. Uh, Makane Church oh, International. Oh, that church, they lead people to Christ. Yes. Papa. And, and you see, ah, she won four souls. Four souls. From Ayensu 
and she brought them to the camp Sunday. Wow! Yes, during the swelling Sunday, oh. she brought four souls. That girl has worked. Wow! She has worked. My sister, really? But you know really? what? Really? Fantastic! I'm happy she's dead and she's here. Yes. Because she has been upgrading our expenses in heaven. Because of her, you have to be organizing parties, parties, Every parties. Every evening. And this one's to be eaten. Look at how his cheeks has become puffy. It's good she's here. Anyway, thank you for saving heaven expenses. And, and, and I think, you see, you have brought so much joy to heaven. Mm. And, and when I look at these things, the four souls that you brought, you know, if you can look through the window, but unfortunately you can't see. You can. have, through the heaven's window, they are now on the verge of becoming pastors. Yeah. Really? Credit to you. Four souls. So okay. what you did, let me explain. Maybe you don't understand. Explain. It's an equivalent of what is called in Greek, mm-hmm. soteria. Ah, yeah, you've released them from prison. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've released the captives. Mm-hmm. And for that, there's a reward for you. Please. A reward? A reward. This the clothes she's wearing is not heavenly. No. The Put garment. on the gown, the garment of glory. Hey, hey Mr. No, Ma- take your time and do it well. Treat her special. This lady is special. Help her, help him. Wow, for your good works. Oh. Hey. This angel is very lazy. See. Only food, so you don't eat again. Hey, take your time. No. Uh-huh. uh-huh. That's, the, that's the right garment. Yes. Beautiful. Please, put your hands inside. You deserve it. You deserve it. Mm-hmm. Oh, beautiful. 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 Uh-huh. You deserve it. Please, pull it down properly. Let it cover all the stress the that she has gone through. And put on the crown on her head. Good. Beautiful. Good. Good. Now, Good. you see, for your hey. reward. Your crown is falling down. Hey. Oh, you are too excited. Take your time. When you question me. You see, let me explain. Because of the work that you have done, there is a mansion waiting for you. A mansion? Yes. Mansion. I live and in a kiosk estate in Ghana. Oh. Kiosk estate. Oh. God has wiped away all your tears. You see? The angels here will lead you to a place of abode that you deserve. Yes. Angels. Yes. Angels. That mansion is for you alone. There is a swimming pool, jacuzzi by the left, swimming pool by the right. I always swim in a lake. Oh. Apostle. No more. Which I want Please. an upgrade though. Keep quiet. Please. Kindly escort this beautiful Please. lady to that place. Enjoy. Enjoy. You deserve it. You worked for it. Uh-huh. Apostle, I'll tell you something. Yes. You have to look for extra, extra large shirts because this one uh, is not fitting here. I will tell the tailor yes. to sew it properly. Uh, hey, hey. Ah. Hello. Apostle, uh-huh. this one, the name was not showing what. Oh, the, that's please. the blood name. Please. What, 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 uh, madam, what are you doing? Uh, I, I died. Hey, come, 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 come here, come here. It's my friends. Listen. You are in the wrong place. There is a work that you've not finished over there. Yeah. Yes. Who, who directed you here? You see, when I, I, when I pull and I write down the list and you tamper with it, I, I get offended. Please, I didn't save the appointment oh. later. Listen, your coming here is a mistake. There is a work that you ought to finish. No, I also came with my wife, so. Okay, let's see. I go to church every Sunday. Ah. I praise God in points. I praise Him in acting. Sometimes I join the dancing star. Yeah. So you do. This is how I praise you. Yeah. Hey, will you shut up, shut up there? Did, did, did you hear yourself? Yeah. You think that coming to church, coming on stage to perform and dancing, this is how I praise, qualifies you for heaven? Mm-hmm. You are not serious. There is a field of souls out there. I have, God has anointed you to win souls to his kingdom. But you are busily lazing about. You won't win souls. You press your phone, go on social media, Snapchat, TikTok. I'm sorry. 
do all the challenges that there is while the souls are perishing. The wolves. Listen, there are wolves. Exactly. Thank wolves. you, Apostle. Apostle Peter. The ten wolves, they have devoured your life practically. Ah. Yes. Man. Can you list them for me? Social media, oh worldly friendship, uh -huh. worldly music, uh -huh. and worldly social gatherings, and many more. Your life is being massacred by wolves. I'm sorry. But God is merciful. You are going back. When you go back to where you are lying, you are given one chance. You have only 15 years to accomplish the ministry that God has given you. Now you can go. Proceed. Go, go to earth. You want to stay here. It's not your time. You want to go to outer darkness? Go away. Yes. Hey, Apostle, let's go. Oh, so you are leaving me. You may be in church, but please try to stay in touch. You may claim to know all the scriptures in the Bible and all the musics, but please try to know him. All God wants from you is to win souls for him. There are souls out there hungry to be fed. You may be coming to church. It's very good, but it's not enough. You may be reading your Bible. It's very good, but it's not enough. If he wants God's presence on you, marking you and making you different from the people around you, all you need to do is to win souls for him. Our souls are parting day by day. When it's your time to die, where would you be? Would it be heaven or hell? For the Bible says in Colossians chapter 3 verse 22 that work willingly in whatever you do. As though you are working for the Lord, not for men. For inheritance shall be your reward. Seek he first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing shall be added unto you. So I want you to go deep into yourself and ask this question. When I die today and I meet my maker face to face, do I have works to show for? Or will I be gnashing my teeth? Ask yourself this question. All I want you to do, all God wants you to do for him is to feed those hungry souls out there. Please be a soul winner. Win souls for Christ. Thank you for watching the film stars. Then you felt the strength begin to fail you. And you say now what shall I do? So you see, my brother, that life is so short, it passes so quickly. Oh, make some noise for the film stars. Oh, Shine, I can hear you. Make some noise for the film stars. When I say be a soul winner, I say I'm a soul winner. Be a soul winner. Be a soul winner. Now, up next, we have a very anointed group in the house. I mean, are you excited? Are you excited? Then help me welcome the King's Choir! to clap your hands unto Jesus. Give the Lord a clap of rain and a shout of praise.
received a call from God the other day. I was just a young person. He spoke to me and said, my child, you are mine. You must work and you must preach. Do you know the secret of prosperity? Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things the people seek for, I will give them all to you. Yes, I'll go where I have to go. Preach what I have to preach. Have the maximum impact, yeah. Yes, I'll go where I have to go. Preach what I have to preach. Yes, I will have the maximum impact, yeah. Do you know the secret of prosperity? Seek you first the kingdom of God. And all these things that people see for, I will give them all to you. Yes, you shall serve the Lord and with you, you shall bless. A blessing for all those who serve. He shall take away sickness for thy mess. The number of your days he will fulfill. Yes, I'll go where I have to go, preach what I have to preach, have the maximum impact, yeah. Yes, I'll go where I have to go, preach what I have to preach, I will have the maximum impact, yeah. Do you know the secrets of prosperity? Seek you first the kingdom of God. things people see for I will give them all to you You shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless He shall bless the bread you eat He shall also bless the water that you drink I am the God that he let be You shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless A blessing for all those who serve he shall take away sickness from thy midst. The number of your days he will fulfill. Yes, I will go where I have to go. And I will preach where I have to preach. I'll go where I have to go. Preach what I have to preach. Have the maximum impact, yeah. Say I'll go where I have to go, preach what I have to preach, I will have the maximum impact, yeah. Will you go where you have to go, preach what I have to preach, yeah. have the maximum impact, yeah. Yes, I will go, go where I have to go, preach what I have to preach, I will have the maximum impact, yeah. Cause I will go where I have to go, preach what I have to preach, have the maximum impact, yeah. Yes, I'll go where I have to go, preach what I have to preach, have the maximum impact, yeah. Didn't you enjoy this ministration? Oh, Shine, are you not excited to be in church today? All right. Up 
next, we also have another anointed group in the house. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Then help us welcome, help me welcome the Redeemed Choir.
Why don't you clap your hands for the Lord? Put your hands together for the Lord. Are you glad to be in church this morning? Oh, are you glad to be in church this morning? Yeah. Only 15 people are happy to be in church this morning. The people on my right side, are you happy to be in church this morning? All right. What about the people on my left side? Are you happy to be in church this morning? All right. And today is a special day. You know why today is a special day, not it? Well, it's time for the word of God. And I'm happy. Oh, you're allowed to be excited. It's okay. And I'm happy to announce to you that God has not only sent you his word this morning, he has also sent you one of his choicest servants to bring his word to you. There is nothing like the word of God delivered by an anointed preacher and an anointed pastor. So ladies and gentlemen, today, if you are as excited as you say you are, I want you to just stand to your feet with me. Clapping is allowed. Yes. Shouting is allowed. Oh, even jumping yes. is allowed. And yes. join me and let's welcome yes. to this pulpit the Bishop yes. Edwin Morgan. Oh God, come on. Make some noise. lift up our two hands and pray. I want you to pray and ask the Lord to speak to you this beautiful morning. Tell the Lord to speak to you. Speak to me, Lord. Ask the Lord to speak to you. Speak to me, Lord. Father, we thank you for the privilege to come to your presence. Touch our lives. Grant us wisdom. Let your will be done. Deliver us from evil. I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. may be seated. Make yourselves saviors of men.
That is the title of the message God is bringing us today. Make yourselves a savior of men. Otherwise, you don't qualify to be here. You may not know, but the church is not a place for everybody. You can easily be sitting here in church, but you shouldn't be here. You see, the people who belong to a church are not just some townsfolk or just anybody. If you are in a church, it's very important to understand that you may easily be an unwanted presence in the church. There are a set of behaviors that are required of you to qualify you to be in church. If you don't behave well, it will surprise you to know that you see God has tolerance for unwanted people he tolerates people who shouldn't be where he is and are there. I, 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 you know, some of you were sitting somewhere and somebody called you to come. But I want to tell you that even though you were called to come, you are still expected to behave in a certain way. You are still expected to be of a certain conduct. That's the story we read about in, is it Matthew 22? About the Lord who threw a wedding dinner. And he invited people who didn't come. So he sent, yes, Matthew 22, that's it. Go back to verse 9, please. So he sent his servants to go into the highways and anybody they found said as many as you find any because God's kingdom has space actually for the whole world. There are chairs, enough chairs for the whole world. 
But even though the chairs are for the whole world, not everybody is welcome. So these guys went and found in verse 10, they went out to the highways and gathered together all, as many as they could find. All of them were gathered and they were just carried. I'm sure they were put on buses. And so the Bible says the wedding was furnished with, with guests. I'm reading this to make a point. You see, the, the, the title, the, the, the message is make yourselves saviors of men. Make yourself. Make yourself. Otherwise, you will be surprised that your existence is not welcome. Convert yourself into a savior of men. Because if you will keep your finger there, you go to Obadiah verse 21. That's a prophecy of an anointed man of God. He prophesied in over there 21, he said, and saviors. There's a Bible I'm reading. Saviors shall come up, up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. And then the kingdom shall be the Lord's. But you will notice that, that in the prophecy of Obadiah, he said, saviors. But you and I know that there is one savior. But that savior is not the saviors. That savior is a big S. That's Jesus Christ. But on Mount Zion, Hebrews 12 says that you have come. The church is called Mount Zion. Saviors. So it is expected that the people who are in Mount Zion are saviors. The people who are in Mount Zion are saviors. That is the expectation of God. That the people in Mount Zion are saviors. If you are sitting here, I'm telling you that you are supposed to be a savior of men. A savior of men. A savior of men. Anybody who is not a savior of men is an unwelcome guest. You are not welcome here. You can be here. But you are not welcome. So the wedding was finished with guests. Make yourself. Because you have been able to make yourself into a married man's girlfriend. Many of us have been able to make ourselves into things. The hair on your head is not your original hair. You have been able to make yourself into a girl with long hair. Meanwhile, four hours ago, that's not the, how your hair was. Four hours ago. So I'm not saying something that is strange. You know, you sit here, you know how to make yourself into something. Make yourself into something. Which five years ago you were not. Which four hours ago you were not. You know how to make yourself. It is, it is wickedness and hypocrisy to sit in church and suddenly it's like you can't make yourself into a savior of men. Meanwhile, you have been able to convert yourself into something.
I'm saying that if you are here, Mount Zion is a church. And saviors are expected on Mount Zion. If you are not a savior of men, you are not welcome here. If you are a dancer, dancing star, and you are not a savior of men, you are not welcome here. I don't care whether you are a lady pastor wearing red or wearing yellow. You are not welcome here. Two ways, two things God does to people who are not welcome. One of them is that he drives them out. In the case of Matthew 22, you see that the king came. Give me the amplified. The king came. When the king came in to see the dinner guest, he saw a man there who was not dressed appropriately. It's not just any dress. It's not just any behavior. There's a specific blouse you must wear. There's a specific t-shirt you must wear. If you are sitting here, there's something you must wear. And if you are wearing something, but it's not the prescribed uniform, you are regarded as not being appropriately dressed. So you saw the man. Ah. How is it possible that you are wearing batik? He asked the guy, the batik man, hey, stand up, batik, stand up. Yes. How are you wearing batik? Why in this party, at this party, everybody is wearing black? How did you get batik? And the man was bored. He said, ah, but I'm sitting my somewhere. You are the one who sent your servants to come and call us. What nonsense is this? You have come to call us. You have come to sit here. You are asking me why I'm wearing batik. Keep quiet. I'm talking. <laughs> ah, I'm sitting my somewhere. You have come you see, now. No, you see, listen to me. Listen. I'll tell you where. A lot of the accusations people bring against God, against pastors, against the church are not true. It's, it's, a, re, it's a reflection of their evil nature. I'm telling you. When you hear people having something against a pastor, don't, 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 don't swallow what they are saying. It is the evil in them they are spewing out. When you hear somebody saying that I was sitting my somewhere and you, are, you, are, you sent your servants to come and call them. You were the one who sent gatherers. I'm not the one with uh, basin overseers. I'm not the one who has uh, uh, created basentes. And we are sitting our somewhere they've gone to call us. We have come to you, are going to ask us nonsense while we are wearing batik. Have you bought a shirt for me before? Is it not food we are coming to eat? Have you made any shirt for me before? And when you hear such ways of talking, you may think that, yes, it's true. The man is a wicked man. He has not made any shirt for them. But it's not true. Look at the next verse in verse 12. And he said, friend, how, first of all, if the Bible you are using is yours, circle friend, because I'm coming there today. Friend, how did you come in here? Without wearing the wedding clothes. That were provided for you. So when they are talking, they won't talk about the fact that what is expected of them has been provided already for them. They will talk as if it's an unreasonable man, an unreasonable pastor, an unreasonable God, an unreasonable church. But there's nothing God asks of you that he has not given you. It's your wickedness that has thrown it away somewhere. The garment, the man was apparently at the gate. Everybody was given a garment to wear. And he chose not to wear it. If you are here and you are not a savior of men, you have chosen not to be a savior of men. 
the verses have been giving you, the messages have been giving you, the warnings have been giving you, the blessings have been taught you, and the spirit is in you. You have chosen not to be a savior of men. It's your choice. And the man was speechless and without excuse. The truth is that you will have an excuse every every day. There will be a day you have no excuse. I'm saying that if you are sitting here, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, there are two ways God treats unwelcome guests. One of them it's here. You see the next verse. Look at the next verse. The king said to the attendants, tie him. That is instant judgment. Tie him hand and foot and throw him into the darkness outside. King James says, outer darkness. Uh-huh. In that place, there will be weeping and national. So that is one way. Unwanted. Some of you who are unwanted here, God will remove you from here. Some of you may never come here again. This may be your last day. Church is not for everybody. You see, they brought the man. He was brought into the dinner. This is a dinner. It's a dinner we are eating. But one person was carried and thrown out. Because this is, this is a parable of the church. They were out. They were called out. Ecclesia, the Greek word for church. When Jesus said, I will build my church, the word church is ecclesia, called out. And I taught you last week that that word ecclesia is not a religious word. It's not the first time you see it. It's not really a word for the church of God. Ecclesia was a political term in ancient Greek. Lifestyle. The parliament, the assembly was called ecclesia. That's the word we have borrowed to, and we are using as church. The word church we are using, that ecclesia, is not originally a church word. It's a political word. Meaning, called out. They call, if they are fishermen, then they will choose two fishermen into the assembly. Seamstresses, they will select three. And they gather them In the assembly, you see that in the book of Acts, in Acts 19, but if you inquire inquire anything concerning other matters, it shall be determined in a lawful assembly. There's no church. The word assembly is ecclesia. If there are matters that must be judged, we take it to a lawful assembly. A lawful ecclesia is the same word Jesus used. And that assembly was a gathering of noble representatives. They gather, they call, this one is coming from Ashaiman. The representative is coming from Medina, a rep from Dodoa, a rep from Ashie, a rep from Tema. And they gather into the assembly. It's not just anybody. That's Ecclesia. 
The matter shall be determined in a lawful ecclesia. Do you think you can just go and sit in parliament that you are a parliamentarian? That's a church. Jesus said, I will build my church. Nobody builds anything by just choosing any material. Depending on what you are building, if you are building a dam at Akosombo, even the cement, it's not just any cement. It's a type of cement. It's a type of iron rods. It's a type of stones. When you are building, you select things. The church is not a place where just any, any, anybody can just come and sit in the church and feel great. There are things to do. I'll build my church. If you are building a hut, there are things you select. If you are building a kiosk, you don't use iron rods. Depending on what you are building, you select. You select. And the things you select, you expect them to live up to their billing. I've shown you one way. The church is a place for saviors. If you are not a savior, if you are not interested in souls, and you are sitting here. Two options. One option is a Matthew 22 option. For once you have found out, you are tied and thrown away out of darkness. But there's a second one. Which I gather is how God treats people he doesn't want. That one is found in Job chapter 1 verse 6. New Living Translation, Job 1 verse 6. Look at it there. Okay, give me King James. Now there was a day. Are you listening or I should end the message? Should I continue? Now there was a day, like Sunday, when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan was there. I'm sorry you and I, you don't need even a Bible verse to know that Satan is not welcome. But that's where you are wrong. You can be a Satan. So God saw him. Satan also came. And the Lord said to Satan, can I have, okay, New King James. Do you have New King James? The Lord said to Satan, why have you come to sit here? Is, is that what he asked him? Why have you come to sit here? No, no, no. no. From where do you come? Mm. Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and through the earth. From walking back and forth. Eh. Then the Lord said to Satan, You are having a chest service. Satan is there. Won't you drive him out? You are rather conversing with him about one of your pastors. The fact that God is conversing with you does not mean that you are a son of God. You are a devil sitting here, but God sometimes tolerates devils. And he used him. God may use you. But it doesn't change the fact that you are a Satan. He used him. He used him directly. The entire story of Job is God using Job. God using Satan. To work a work in his servant that he was boasting about. God didn't use Elijah. God didn't use Hosea. He used Satan. God may be using you. But that doesn't mean that you are a welcome presence.
That's why the title of the book, there's nothing more true than the title of the book that make yourself. Convert yourself. Because some of you are sitting in the church without any agenda. You are singing. Look, if I say you should sing, the assumption is that you are a savior of men that I have asked to sing. If I say you should lead praise and worship, the assumption is that you are into souls and I've asked you to lead praise and worship. If you are not, if you are not, then you are an unwanted presence. They tell you that you are a Satan God is using. I, I think today's message is not. I, I personally don't think it's. Uh, let's welcome Frida to end the service. Let's clap our hands. Let's welcome our sister Frida. I, 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 I don't feel that this is on a Sunday morning. A pastor should be preaching such a message. This is for graduate professors. So I should continue? Just for a little while. What will you pay me? Ah, uh, you pay me for the camp. Okay. Somebody says she will pay for me for the camp. Okay. I'll tell you something. God conversing with you doesn't mean that he likes you. God using you. In fact, sometimes his servants he loves, when they misbehave, he uses people to punish them. Then when he finishes, he kills them. You didn't hear what I said. That, that's my servant. I love him. You are a devil. That's my servant. I can use you to pan. Israel. That's how the, Israel had many nations God used to punish Israel. But as soon as he finished, he was satisfied with the punishment. He cleared the nation. He wiped them out. Read your Bible. The fact that God is using you to sing doesn't mean he likes your behavior. Second Corinthians eight. Second Corinthians five. Verse eighteen. New Living Translation. And all of this is a gift from God. Who brought us? Back to himself through Jesus Christ. Is it true that God brought us back to himself? We were far and he's brought us back. Is it true? Then there's no discussion. And God has given us, us, who are the us? The reverends like Reverend Akins, not so. Lady pastors like Lady Pastor Benedicta, not so. Who are the us? No, not all. Who are the, in, the, in this? We are doing comprehension. Who are the us in this essay? In this, uh, your friend is saying, no. Who are, who are the us? All the people who have been brought back to himself are the us. The ecclesia. Anybody who was in the nightclub smooching girls and today you are a worship leader. I'm tell anybody who was an unbeliever smoking weed and today you are sitting in the church on the uh, third row as an important dignitary in the church. You have been brought back. Say brought back, brought back, brought back. Say I've been brought back. 
He has brought me back. Say, he has brought me back. Yes. And God has given us this task of reconciling people to him. Verse 19. For God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. No longer counting people's sins against them. And he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. Verse 20. So, we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. We speak for Christ when we plead, come back. When the last time you told somebody to come back to God? When the last time you told someone to come back to God? We speak for Christ when we plead. I'm telling you today, listen to me. If you are here and reconciling men to God, you see a girl who doesn't go to church and you mark her that this girl, I'm going to put her into the house of God. If you are here and that, that mind is not in you, then you are not a welcome guest here. You are a Satan amongst us. And God can use you. God is very complex. He's very mature. You know how mature a person is by how the person can relate with people who are inappropriate. Like how God relates with us. It tells you his maturity. How did you come here? Because there's a way to come here. John chapter 10, verse 9. Jesus said, I am the door. I'm the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. How did you come here? Did you come here by the, by, by the door? Did you come here by the door? Or you came here through a window? I'm the door. By me. By me. If any man enters, he shall be saved. But do you know that not everybody here came to the door? Because the door is not, oh, you can sit down, Batik. The door is not the only way to enter. No, 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 no. The door is not the only way to enter. There are other ways to enter. John 10, verse 1. Verily, verily, I say to you, he that entereth not by the door. So you, you can stop there and go home. You've entered, but you didn't use the door. We are going home. We've closed. You've entered. You are here, but you didn't use the door. That's all. He that entereth not by the door into the sheep. We are sheep here. These are sheep. These are sheep. But there is, there is a right way to enter. It's called the door. The door. But some people have entered not through the door. How did they enter? Is there? They climbed. So to climb, anybody who came here through the door, you just walk in. Anybody 
Who didn't use that door has to use extra skills. Nobody climbs to use a door. You're walking. But some people climb. And the Bible says, some other way. The same. It's a thief. And how true it is. Because you and I know that a thief is not somebody who has stolen your money. That's not a thief. If you're in your house in the night and if you just you can't sleep well, you want you feel like a drink, and you go to the kitchen, you turn on the kitchen light, and you see a strange man standing there. No, I'm asking that. Will you say because you're not holding a suitcase? Because you're not holding my gold bar I've hidden under the ground. The man is just standing there. A thief is not somebody who has taken something home. By your presence at a place where you must not be, being there makes you a thief. Before you steal, your very presence, it's like as we are here, I'm preaching, I'm, I'm here, I'm preaching, then I say that, um, shall we close our eyes? Let's bow down our heads. Let's bow our heads. Please bow your heads now. And we want to just say a word of prayer. And as, as we are bowing down our heads, then I'm taking somebody's phone. You see, my hand in my, please lift your hand. My hand in the bag, whether I'm holding a phone or a book, or for my hand to be in the bag. Some of you looking at me here. Today is the first time. I'm, I'm, I can bet that you've not heard this message before. Yes. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here. If you want to be here, then wear the uniform. Wear it. Wear it. Wear it. It has been provided. Wear it. You think that because the doors are open, a thousand doors is the church anybody can come in, you are not serious at all. Anybody can come in, but when you come in, you must make yourself. So some of you sitting here, who didn't enter through the door? What's the door? The door is Jesus. The door is Zion. The door, we see you are through that you came to the door when you are a savior of men, then you are right, you, you are the right person. If you are not a savior of men, you don't win souls, you don't witness, then you are a thief. A thief. A thief. I'm telling you, some of you should not. Here again, Jesus' words. Jesus said they tied him, a man sitting somewhere, minding his business. They brought him to the dinner. He said, Tie him, throw him away. Some of you must be tied and thrown away, or he will tolerate you. Some of you, God is going to use you, and when he finishes, he will throw you away. He will use you. That's God I know. I know if I've not even read any part of the Bible, I can tell you from the Old Testament, the nations used to disturb Israel, none of them was spared. If God uses you to attack a pastor, know that there's a just recompense. Last night I taught, I told them that God doesn't like people who work without pay. He always pays people he uses. In fact, in the Bible, he warned people that when somebody works for you, Pay his salary today. Don't postpone the salary. And when Jesus came, he quoted. So the scripture says that you must not muzzle the mouth of an ox. He doesn't like it at all. That he will use you and not pay you. Some of you, he will use you. 
to attack pastors, to correct your mother. Correct your mother. Anybody God uses, it means that he knows that you are an evil person, so he uses you. And when he finishes, then he applies, he turns the next chapter and uses a verse there to correct you. I have no doubt that a lot of people correcting fathers are being used by God. I have no doubt. Because God corrects his people. He will correct you. You will do the right thing. You will do the right thing. Fear me! If you are here and soul winning is not on your mind, you are an unwanted presence here. You are an unwanted presence here. We don't want you here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out! We don't want you. And you watch. What happens to thieves? You see how God is defining thieves? A person who enters... He, he, he didn't say, a, a, is there? It's a thief and a robber. Rob, has he stolen something? No, that's, that's nothing like he has stolen something. But your presence there is through another means. That's all. He means to say that you are a thief. Some of you are thieves. You've climbed into the chest some other way. What you don't know is that your boss, that, you see, the Job 1 6 Satan. Has given birth to you. Because the thief, this Job 1 6, the Satan, has given. Because the John 10 9, John 10 9 is you. Look at John 10 9. John 10 9 is you. John 10 1 is you too. Those who entered by the door is John 10 9. Those who didn't enter by the door at John 10, 1. John 10, 1 is not the devil. John 10, 1 is those of you sitting here who have not used Jesus to enter the church. Who are in the church without the right t-shirt. Who are in the house of God without a mind to serve him. Without a mind to win a soul. Without a mind to change somebody. You are in the church. No, 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 no mind to be an ambassador for Christ. You are, you are the thief. Because your real boss, the real thief, is now in John 10.10. 10. John 10.10. 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come. That they might come. So you see, I, so it's Jesus and his people and Satan and his people. Choose your own. Yes. From John 10, 1 to John 10, 10 is Jesus and his people and Satan and his people. The same way Satan is in the church and God is using him. That's the same way God is using you to take offerings. But you are still Satan. Today, I just want us to leave here with one basic understanding. In case you are not a savior of men, make yourself. Nobody will make you. I said nobody will make you. There is a great commission according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 28. Make yourself. Matthew 28, verse 17, verse 18. Jesus said, All power is given to me in heaven and in earth. Verse 19. Go. 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 These are the last words of Jesus. After this, we don't hear of him again. This is after saying this, they saw him climb. He went up. 
his last words. And the last words of a person are very, very serious. You play with a man's last word. You see, you see, there's something called dying wish. That's a phrase. A person's dying wish. When a person is about to die, like in this church, one of our pastors died. And his family members, very traditional, very traditional, they decided, they knew he was a pastor, but he was actually a reverend. They said, no, don't have any respect for church. What church? The tradition must hold. What church? They took the body, organized everything. They said they were going to bury him in their family mausoleum. This is a, pa- a pastor of our church, Lighthouse Church. A week to the funeral, the son of the pastor went to the family head and said he has something for him. He said, what do you have for me? He said, I've got an audio, <laughs> audio, audio message. He said, what audio message? So the son respected, so can I sit down? So sit down. I don't know whether he went with a Bluetooth speaker so that the sound would be... <laughs> He pelled the Bluetooth speaker and he pressed play. He and the family head play. What should they hear? A man who couldn't speak well. His voice was shaking. So these are my Dying wishes. I know the pastor, strong and very, very buoyant. But over some a period, he deteriorated, sickness. He couldn't speak well. These are my dying wishes. If I die, my body should be given to Bishop Doug Heward Mills. Whatever he and his bishops say should be done with my body is what they should do. I am about to die. Give my body. (laughs) Give my body to Bishop Doug Heward Mills and his bishops. What they say is final. I am dead. (laughs) 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 The Ebu Shapeni sat up again. Sat up. Said what? Mm. He played again. Said your father did this. He said, Come tomorrow. But when the son, the son is a doctor, when the son came, the Bushian, what about the Bushian? The elders had gathered. He said, Play it. He played it. He said, Based on what he has said, we are going to give the body to Bishop Dad. Because the last words, if you go against somebody's last words, your, your children can start dying one after the other. You see, I went to a funeral. <laughs> I went to a funeral recently somewhere. And I sat with an 82-year-old woman. And she pointed and said, you see the people on my left? Some of them are wearing red and some are wearing black. Can you see it? On the left, on the left. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Near the DJ, what the DJ is. Uh-huh. You see, all of them, uh-huh. they were part of our family. And they broke away four years ago, before COVID. And she said, Nana, can you believe it? For the past four years, 
they've been dying one by one. So they have come back. They want to join the family again. But I will not, a woman said, I will not allow them. <laughs> so they, they, they will all die. <laughs> they will all die. You see, when, when, when somebody makes a wish before he dies, you don't joke with it. He might have built a house for you. He might have walked on water. He might have given you bread. He might have given you healing. By his last words, we were there. We saw the pastor. He was buried in our church cemetery at Mampong. Allah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Last words. Last words are ominous. They are sinister words. You joke with someone like somebody is about to die. One day, a plane developed a problem. It was flying. True story. It's in, on the internet. Before the plane eventually fell, because it fell, the nearest airport was about an hour away. But it took some time before it fell. And everybody knew. From the way the, the plane was just, just gliding, a Boeing. As soon as they knew that the, it was over, can you lipstick, pen, pencil? They took every toilet roll. They began to write last words that in case the plane falls and they find the paper. At least he will know that the family gold is with Mr. Ai. Yes, the family gold is with Mr. Ai. Because some people, they never return things when a person dies. So, do you think that the last words a person dying on a plane will write is that, brush your teeth every morning. Eat house of cocoa when you are happy. No. Th- those words must be the most important words. They'll be writing the password to a safe. Where they have kept the land documents. It is, it's been hidden in a trunk. And it is five meters down. On the land. Where there's a cocoa tree. By the side of the cocoa tree. It's a palm nut tree. Behind it. It's a baobab tree. Under it is a paper. When you take it. They have written on it. Where the. <laughs> I'm saying that when somebody is dying, he will not write nonsense. I said, he will not write nonsense. When Jesus was about to leave, he said, go! Go! Go. He said, go. He said, go. You want to joke with it? That's why you are sitting here. Most of you sitting here are powerless. You have no power to even come to church. You have no power to pray. You have no power to break up with a wrong relationship. You have no power to stop betting. Because he introduced himself. He said, all power. This is the gospel, the great commission. According to Matthew. The great commission according to Matthew. It's a commission of power. Jesus introduces himself. He said, I'm sending you, but before I send you, I want you to know that all power belongs to me. Why? Why? Why all power? Because what you may not know is that on earth, what is used to survive here is not beauty. It's not degrees. It's power. Not money. It's supernatural power. You may not know. You see how you've done your hair? When I see you, I see a girl ready to charm a man. You see? Look at her. Come, come. You are teaching. I'm teaching. But just three minutes, so let me end with this. You see? The hair is done, it's done. Nice hair. But then she has left some here. Some curly. What, what do you call it? Worms. Yeah. 
You see this one? Is it nice? Yes. The pearls. Clap your hands for pearls. My dear friend, we don't use pearls and pelems and pearls and worms <laughs> to marry a man. You need power. Because as you have done your this, a girl, look at this pretty girl, a girl whose face, one eye is red, the one is white. When she smiles, the lips are like her. That girl just comes to pass by your husband. I'm preaching. So she just passes by your husband. Your husband is just... Ah, why? Look at the girl. Because the perfume she has used. She got the perfume from a girl, a girl, It's a power perfume. I'm preaching. So while you are basing your power to marry on twirls and curls and pearls, somebody 1,000 less beautiful than you comes. So your husband now doesn't come home. You watch, note carefully the women who take people's husbands. 86% of them are ugly. Your husband just met her at the funeral and greeted her. Oh, how are you doing? Hey. Not only that, it's not a handle. It's the head of a snake that has you have held. Say power. power. Note carefully. Go to town tomorrow. Tuesday, go to town. Most people who are working in town are not properly qualified for the job they are doing. Or there is a more qualified person. Go to town. There is a power. More powerful than first class. Life on earth is not lived by shouting. It's lived with power. You will give birth and somebody has more control over your daughter than you, the mother, have. You will grow up a little. You will have money, but you can't get some things. You know the president, but you can't get some things. You are a pretty girl, but nobody. Have, have you not seen that? The married people in the church are not the most beautiful women. Look around for careful. There must be a Miss McCann sitting somewhere around you. There's nothing on her finger. Those who are married, look at their faces. Just, just, just inspect. The ones with the rings, just inspect them. And now go to those without rings. Let's start. Let's start. Anybody without a ring, just stand to your feet. I mean, you will fall down right now. So you will know that it's not the power of hips and lips and fingertips. Twirls and pearls. There is a power. If you have that power, a thousand will fall at your side. Ten thousand at your right side. I said there is a power. When God sends you, he introduces himself as all power belongs to me. And when you go, he rewards you with power. Because he knows you will need more than beauty. You will need more than a handsome face. Their wives on, in their bed with their husbands. They are dead. They are texting another man. They are lying by the husband. They are texting another man. Because this life is not a life of man. It's not, you, you don't play this game with money. Anybody you know who uses money as a bargaining chip is not a great person. 
is a very, very underdeveloped. I told somebody, I said, the men who came here, nothing less than three of them are wearing beads. Nothing less than three of them are wearing beads. And when I finished, I got to know that there were more wearing beads. You see them looking drab, looking very, very bespoke. But where they have been, I said, where they have been, you and I will not go to any shrine. No. Uh, no. Ours is no shrine. Oh, Our shrine is a soul winning. Yeah. Our shrine is a savi- saving of men. Oh. Our shrine is the blood of Jesus. We apply on lives that don't matter. Yes. We don't go to no shrine. So when you are here and you don't get involved in soul winning, then you don't understand life. Jesus never gave his power to anybody. The only time we know that he gave his power out was in Luke chapter 10. When he sent them in twos to go and preach. When they came back with joy. And Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning. You don't understand life. You don't understand. I'm so happy. When I was 16 years old, the girl who led me to Christ, she introduced me. To soul winning. In fact, I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit at a Friday all night. The Saturday dawn of that Friday all night, we were out at Takade Market Circle preaching. No time. It is when you are young that you have faith in the size of your breast, the size of your thighs. And how you can speak to a girl. And how you can coin words. That when I meet you, the rainbow becomes colorless. Yes. It's only when you are young. That you, you, you just feel that you can use words. But there is power. And in the same Luke 10, verse 19. Look at it. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. You don't use money. Nikki, love, you don't use money to deal with serpents. You're a pretty girl. We don't use... You're going to marry a man with devils in his family? You are using high heels? You've got to be joking, baby. In that marriage, you need... Ah! A girl saw me yesterday. She said, last week Sunday, you were preaching and you walked straight to me. And you gave an example. I was the one. I've come to confess. Let me move away before I say something. Watch out! Life is full of serpents. What is a serpent? What is a serpent? A serpent is not a snake or something that slithers away. A serpent is evil around you that you can't see. Evil in your home. You can't see. Somebody's gift he brought. This is your birthday gift. That's all. You got it. Put it in your drawer. That's it. That's a point of contact. It's a transmitter. Ah, just listen. Is this also a transmitter? Let me. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Ah, I think we are. Hello? Ah, you are sleeping. That's how I'm preaching. You are sleeping. You are sleeping also. Nonsense. I'm preaching. You are sleeping. Can you hear me? Is that sound good? Is that sound okay? 
Okay. All right. That's okay. You can hear it well on the on social media. Okay. I'm here. I'm standing here. I'm talking to somebody somewhere. That gift you received. As you have finished your wedding, you are having sex with your wife hey. to have your first child. Hey. You are reporting it at Hogbe uh, uh, Toto Festival. Hogbe hey. Toto Festival. As you are celebrating your son's first birthday and you are cutting the cake, that thing lying on the sofa is sending a message that they are celebrating, so it is now led to six more months. I've seen everything before. I can give you names and dates and places. And how can we live our lives without accepting gifts? What do you have that you did not receive? Are we in the spirit all the time to say that this one is, a, is, a, is, an, is an amulet, this one is a point of contact? No, we receive it. That's why you can't live without power. You can live without money. You can live. COVID taught us that you can live without paper money. You can live without meeting people. But you can't live without power. You can't live without power. Because they are coming for your son. They are coming for your daughter. They are coming for your wife. They are coming for your husband. They are coming for you. As you sit in the office, you think because you had first class in Masters A++, you are going to last. Somebody who has not been to university is about to take over from you. So Jesus said, because you went, I'm giving you power. Because nobody works for me without receiving a salary. I pay people who work for me. And I don't pay with dollars. I don't pay with cities. I pay with power. Because your greatest need in life is not, have you not noticed that you don't have money, a lot of the things you have, you can't afford them because you don't need to have money to have some things. You need to have power to have some things. And I'm saying to you today that the great commission is a commission of power. Power to stay in your marriage. How many years have you been married? Don't play. There are things working. Don't joke. Wear your t-shirt on Saturday. I mean you, not this one. Not this one. You, wear your t-shirt on Saturday. And go out and win souls. Life is not. There are things. Be careful. It's called the non-linearity of life. Life doesn't have. Straight lines are in drawings. Straight lines are in drawings. Nothing in life is straight. Young men, young girls, stop dancing around. Wake up. She's even sleeping. She can't even stay awake. You see that? So just five years later, she's a girl, but she's smoking in her hand. Because something has come for her. If I see you dancing, my assumption is that you are a savior of men before you are dancing. If I see you playing the keyboard, my assumption is that you are a savior of men before you are playing the keyboard because where you are sitting, the girls who are looking at you, not all of them are correct. So you must have power to sit behind the keyboard. Otherwise, something powerful is coming to end your life. Make yourselves saviors of men. Stand to your feet. Make yourself. Make yourself. Keep clapping. Make yourself. Make yourself. Now, as you are clapping your hands, begin to pray while clapping your hands. Pray. 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 Lord, make me, make me, 
Savior of man in the name of Jesus. They can take your degree. They can take your shoes. They can take your car. But don't allow them to take your ability to save men. My God and my Lord. Pray. 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 God is speaking. God has spoken. Listen well. Don't be here without being a savior of men. It only means that you are a thief in the midst of God's people. Pray. Pray. In Pregatayabe, Shan Dilibe Katayaba, Levedo Shanta, in Pregatayabe, Yam Palaba, Shekatayaba, in Pregadado Shapayaba, Hey, Kapasuni Moka, in Palakataya Dadoshe, Levedo Shapakatanima, in Pacate Aduse, Levedo Shapanina, Likadado Shapa Impre, Levadiba Kalaba, make us Lord, make us. Lord, saviors of men in the name of Jesus. Le papayaba, in papayaba, le gadebe, le pakatoshe, in prakatayaba, le vedadoshe, in prakata anda, le vadabosha payaba, pray, ye panama, le gadebe, le gadebe, le gadebe, mampashatari, in paladebe, le gatayaba, in takato. Ye papayaba, ye papayaba, ye papayaba, lagadaba, Lord make us, make us Lord, mashapa itaba, lagadaba, lagadaba, imprakatoshe, imprakatoshe. Oh Jesus, I want us to pray again. This morning, at first works. The film stars played a message I had preached in their acting. It affected me. It affected me. I had never heard it like that before. But I was saying that if you are a Christian, you must have... See, Christ asked Peter, do you love me? He said, I love you. Then he said, then feed my lambs. Then he asked again, do you love me, Simon? He said, yes. He said, feed my sheep. And in that short segment, I said, everybody, if you love God, there must be a new convert in your life. There, every, everybody, there must be a new convert in your life you are bringing up. A new believer, you are helping. Whether you are a lawyer, you are a doctor, you are a whatever, 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 whatever. There must be somebody, student, there must be somebody. Also, if you love God, there must be a Christian, a mature Christian in your life that you are ministering to. So he said, lambs. Number one was lambs. Verse 15. Then the next verse, he said, sheep. I want us to pray that in your life, from today till you die, yes. Yes. in a thousand years, yes. there will be a new believer ah. you are helping. You see, Zig Ziglar said, he gets to the top. He who helps others to come up? If my agenda is to help this man to come up, please come, let me help you to come up. The fact that I'm bringing you up means that I am getting to the top. I will, the, the fact that I'm helping you to come up means that I am getting, I am at the top. Your way to the top is to help someone to go up. The art of leadership. Bishop says, take people to the top. Take people. 
you will realize that it's not people you are taking to the top. You are taking yourself to the top. If I can take you to level 5, I must be at level 7 before I can take you to level 5. If I'm at level 3 and my aim is to take you to 5, it means that I'm working my way to 7. That's the mind. Today we are praying that whatever... Hey! Instrumentalists, listen to me. We are praying. And when we are praying, don't play any instrument. Pray that there will be a convert in you. I said, the girls are coming. And I, and I mean it. I'm not talking to you as somebody who is not married. I'm talking to you as a married man. I said, the girls are coming. You say, I'm joking? You want to challenge me? I said, the girls are coming. What power do you have? Everything you have will not help you. You are tall. It doesn't help you. You are handsome. It doesn't help you. Your teeth are nice. It doesn't help you. But the only thing you need to help you is the power of God at work in your life. Keep clapping now. Because we are using it to pray. We are praying right now that there will be a convert in your life. Yes. You will find one. Oh. You will win one yourself and raise that convert yourself. Clap your hands and pray. If you love God, if you don't love God, stop praying and sing. Legedo Shaprakatayaba, Liva Shampeketayabe, Libra Casatama, Shindelebe, Limpreketayabaka Shuntawa, Liva Daba, Ketayama, Shimpreketose, Limpa Paya Katayaba, Live Shuntayabaka Tayaba, Treve de Besham Tayaba, Impreketayabe, Liva do Shepekatonima, Libre all your life. You have a Kayaba, some. You are finished with a boy, you pick another boy. You pick a girl. Yekeshetayaba, Levedo Shapa in Televe, Rakatayaba, Impelekaso Televe, Rapayama, Shantilibina, Repetit for yourself. Make 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 yourself. Father, we thank you. And finally, we are praying that there will be a sheep. A sheep is a sheep. I am a sheep. You are a sheep. That there will be somebody. It may even be at your own level, but you minister. You exchange strength. You share. You share. And from that person, you draw strength. Not strength to be rich, but strength to have the power of God. That there will be somebody. You'll be in the company of Christians who minister to fellow Christians. That's a basenta leader. That's a center leader. That's a whatever it is. But not forget about leaders. I'm talking about your personal life as a Christian. There should be somebody. Yeah. Without the pastor's knowledge. Somebody whose house you go to, to share a scripture. To go for a home sale. A whatever fellowship. It may not even be a basenta. A, some, a home sale. You go there and just say a word. You will go to the top yourself. In power to tread upon serpents yes, yes, and scorpions. Yes. Clap your hands and pray now. Don't be a Christian. Don't be a Christian. Libra Katayaba Shekvedinima Zengili Vika Shapayaba Levededo Shapra Ketayama Limpepe Yebe La Papaye Kashatayama Ligededo Shapre in Tayaba Legededo Shapayama Zindi Vima Kapayaba Legededo Shapani Manama Limpredebe Limpredebe Shakatayaba Legedebe Shantayaba Limpapaye Kashatayama Every believer, everybody, everyone, everyone. Father, I pray and I ask that, Lord, let those who have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying hear. I pray that there will be none. 
under the sound of my voice, who will one day be in outer darkness, gnashing his teeth and weeping. Lord, bring us all to that place of fruitfulness and faithfulness. Bring us all to that place, that blessed place of greatness. I ask in the name of Jesus that you bring everyone along as we journey towards the promised land. Let no one be left behind. And now, Lord, I pray, every head bowed and every eye closed. I want to pray for anyone here today who doesn't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. You want to say, Pastor, pray for me. I want to be born again. I want to join the church properly. I want to enter through the door. Jesus said, I am the door. I am the door. Pastor, pray for me. If you are here, you want to pray for you. Lift your right hand up high. I'm going to pray a simple prayer with you. Yes. A prayer with, lift it high. A prayer. I will pray with you to receive Jesus. I see your hand. High. Up, up, up. I see your hand. Up. To receive Jesus. I see your hand. I see your hand. To receive Jesus. As your Lord and Savior. To receive Jesus. If your hand is up. If you raise your hand. Come to me right now here. Come. Come to the front here. Come. Come, come, take your phone, take your Bible and come, come, clap your hands for them, clap for her, clap for him, clap for them, yes, God bless you. You want to join them? You can come. Clap for them. They are coming. Come, my dear. Come. Clap for him. He's coming. It's just the beginning. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Can you please lift your hands and join me as we pray, as I pray with them. All of you, lift your hands in front. And now say this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, today, today, I realize I am a sinner. I realize I'm a sinner. But I'm coming to you. But I'm coming to you. Because you are merciful. Because you are merciful. I've done many bad things. I've done many bad things. I've gone far from you. I've gone far from you. Today. Today. I return to you. I return to you. I ask you, Lord. I ask you, Lord. Please receive me. Please receive me. Please wash me. Please wash me. Please cleanse me. Please cleanse me. Please make me new. Please make me Make me your child. Make me your child. I want a new life. I want a new life. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. To live this victorious life. To live this victorious life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I pray. I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands for them. Thank you, Jesus. Do you see our pastor and, and the lady pastor standing there? They are waving their hands. Yes. They are going to help you. They will counsel you, ask if you have any challenges. They will help you. Because see, you are grown, but you are spiritually a baby. You don't know left hand from right. They will pray with you, teach you to pray, teach you to come to church. It's a long journey. And you can't start it all by yourself. So I want us to go to them. Let's go to them. Clap your hands for them. Clap your hands for them. Keep clapping your hands. Encourage them. Encourage them. Encourage them, please. Let your hand clap be louder. (laughs) 
take. We are coming to the Lord's table. You know, listen, I told the church yesterday that there are a thousand things we connect to the communion. Healing, blessings, revelation, all and on and on and strength and speed and all. But I will tell you, please listen. Pause. Honey, pause. The central reason, the first proton, in fact, the actual reason that Jesus Christ gave for the communion, he said, do this in remembrance of me. Because that's why it's good to take the communion even 10 times a day. Each time you take the communion, you are reminding yourself that Jesus is there. Because some of you, you have forgotten Jesus. You've forgotten about Jesus. The things you are doing, he's not in it. So you can be in the church preaching, singing, playing instruments, video, but you, you've forgotten about Jesus. Second Peter Chapter 1, I think verse 9 or 10 says, you have forgotten how you came to be where you were. You can forget. Yes. He has forgotten that he was purged. Is there? It's not, it's not the point my wrote. Is there? He has forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. You can actually be a believer in the system and you've forgotten that you are even a Christian. So yes, there's healing. But I mentioned what, what? What is it? What is it? Plenty. But the biggest of them is that you remember Jesus. Say Jesus, Jesus. I remember you. I remember you. You are part of my life. Part of my life. Say the body of Christ. The body of Christ. As I eat it. As I eat it. I remember. I remember. That I am a Christian. I'm a Christian. I am born again. I am born again. I have Jesus. I have Jesus. Say Jesus. 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 You are real. You are real. Jesus. Jesus. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let's eat it. That's all. Just remember Jesus. They say, you have forgotten that you were perished. You can live your life, you've forgotten that blood was used to wash you. So each time, look, listen, what I, I don't know about yours, but I, what I'm drinking is not blood. It's a, a, a sana or something. Is it? Rabina drink or Vimto? Vimto. Uh -huh. It's Vimto. It's not the blood of Jesus. But we, 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 we use it to represent the blood. To remind ourselves that this life we are living, blood is in it. That's all. Remember me that I died for you. So you can also die for someone. Even forget about dying for someone. Remember that I died for you. Because you can live your life and forget that Jesus died for you. The blood of Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. He died for me. He died for me. Jesus. 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 What's your communion? Are you, 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 you've drank 10 weeks communion in your house already. The cup you use for communion is not a small cup. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I really love Jesus. I really love Jesus. I really, really love Jesus. I really, really love Jesus. Let's drink it. Lift your two hands. Oh. Father, may we remember you. Amen. Tomorrow, may we remember you. Amen. In the office, may we remember you. Amen. In the bedroom, may we remember you. Amen. In the kitchen. With our house help, ah, with our husband, Jesus. with our wives, oh, our friends, Jesus. in the farm, Jesus. wherever, yes. may we remember Amen. that we are Christians. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Let's Amen. receive Bishop Kobe to close us.
I expected your hand clap to be louder, to last longer. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Bishop, thank you very much for these powerful, 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 soul winning messages. And I want to tell you that in the month of May, every Sunday will be a soul winning Sunday. So get ready for it. Well, I thought that you would clap your hands for such an opportunity. But, yeah. May cannot end without you also having a soul. It cannot. Yes. You will also sit by a soul practically in church in the month of May. You watch it. What a blessing. But I want to remind you that when you go home tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, listen to the message again over and over again, over and over again. Listen to it again with a notebook and draw everything that the message has in it for yourself. Clap your hands for the Lord one more time. It's a blessing and you may be seated. If you brought your tithe, kindly stand to your feet, please. Brought your tithe, kindly stand to your feet. If you don't have your tithe, be getting your offering ready. I'm coming there next. Be getting your offering ready. Those of you who are standing, please lift up your tithe. I want to speak a word of prayer over it. And now, Father, we thank you for the obedience of these children of yours. We thank you for the blessing of obedience to your word in bringing the seed of the tithe. I pray for them, O oh God, that wherever this tithe has come from, may that source never dry up. May that source only grow. May it grow in size, grow in quantity, grow in regularity, O oh God. Let your blessings come upon their lives because of their obedience. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Please bring your tithe to the front. The rest of us, let's take out our offerings. Those of you who are watching online can give your tithe by mobile money. The numbers are on the screen. There will also be a number for offerings. So those of you who are watching online, you are not excluded at all. You are with us all the way. Let's take out our offering, the rest of us. Take out a very good offering, 500 Ghana cities, 1,000 Ghana cities, 300 Ghana cities, 200 Ghana cities, 50 Ghana cities, 80 Ghana cities. Take it out. Mobile money, enter the, the figures. Remember to use the mobile money account with a lot of money. The Vodafone, that's where the money is. Give a good offering unto the Lord. Quickly. Have you taken out your offering? Please lift it up. Lift it up. A good offering unto the Lord. Hey, the people on my right hand side, no offerings. Lift up the offerings. All right. Father, I pray for every hand that is lifted up. May this hand never know lack. May it never know lack. I pray for wherever the offering has come from, that that source will always be fresh. It will always bring forth abundance. Always bring forth blessing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Please rise up and bring your offerings to the front quickly. And as you come, you are blessed. The blessing of the Lord finds you as you come. And the blessing of the Lord overtakes you as you come. The blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord finds you. You are blessed as you bring your offering. As you give to the Lord, you are blessed. You are blessed with blessings that money cannot purchase money cannot purchase money cannot purchase in the name of Jesus
Jesus with understanding. I'm in the house of God. We must be saviors of men. It was Jesus' last wish and we must treat it with all seriousness. If you got born again today, you made an important decision. Heaven rejoices and your shining family over here is so blessed to have you. Please kindly visit our Facebook page, Bishop Edwin Morgan, and go DHMM and someone will message you. It was wonderful worshiping with you today. Have a good week and see you next week Sunday. All right, now before we close, I want to invite Sing praises to our God and King. Sing His praise.